Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Come quite marmalade. Marmalade. Wasn't keen on it. Won't be having it again. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Mike? Well, this week I've got a story about a trick you can do with your tongue. Don't do that. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Cud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast provider, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out and fingered us gently, go on the bottom of the screen, we go to Lee and the showbiz. <laughs> We have spoken about this before. Mm. Love Island for an older generation. Okay. So, but it's now been confirmed. So Davina McCall has announced that a Love Island for the new, it's called middle-aged demographic, okay. is, is, is happening. So she announced on, Insta on her Instagram saying that she had manifested it, mm -hmm. so she would manifested the role, and it's going to be called The Romance Retreat. Um, what are they classing as middle-aged? Um, you've got to have a child who is Whoa, no, over no, the age no, of 18. No, no, no. So they're, they're, they're still sticking with their only Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no gayness in it. There's no bisexuality. There's no... It's just, you know, you've got it. So, yeah, it's going to hit... It's going to... I would imagine it's being recorded now. Um, so we will see a group of single parents looking to find love. Okay. Um, so it's the middle-aged version of Love Island. So I'm she... not sure I'm accepting middle-aged, because you have to be a child over 18, mm. right? So that's what, if you were 18 at the time, what, 34? Mm. I presume that you've got to have a child over the age of 18 because they're, they are classed as an adult. Uh -huh. And when you go on these reality TV programmes, you get a lot of flack. And if your mum or your dad is on Love Island with the bean out, you know, and, and going, nah, you, bean out? you don't want that at school playground, do you? You don't want, your mum's a slag. Oh, flashback. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so she has confirmed that it's going to happen. So she said, I manifested it and I made it happen. I willed it. And there has been an amazing new revelation so yeah so exactly how casting for a show that's works. how it works yeah, yeah. yeah. um so it's uh, she says it's for grown-ups people who have lived a life okay. who have been through experiences good bad moving they've had tough lives so what she's doing is she's encouraging anybody who wants to find their love mm -hmm. and has had a child over the age of 18 to apply it's going to be amazing she said um, they, they've not revealed where they're filming at the location, but ITV has teased, teased us, flicked our little beans. Um, uh, to There's where... a lot of bean flicking <laughs> references today. There is today. something you want to tell us? I don't know. Um, so they, they've, they've, they've revealed a picture of the, they say, stunning looking villa mm -hmm. on the application page. We've got a picture of Davina, um, not at the villa, but there she is. She's going, oh, heart. That is the actual villa that they're going to use. So that could be anywhere. Well, it's boarded up. It's, Oh, it does a bit, doesn't it? I didn't notice that. It's that chipboard on the on the when when some when a business goes out. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Um, no official air date has been released. Okay. Um, but uh, the applications closed at the end of March. Um, so so we missed it's it then. yeah, but we, but it's only for the straights. It's not for the gays. I'd have gone and lied. And you haven't got a child over the age of eighteen. That I don't like, I've, I've invented children before. If you know, if you're gonna go on it. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> anyway, something a little bit more palatable. Okay. So, did you did you go when you were in age when the Brokeback Mountain film came out? Were you not a child? I was. A, I couldn't go and watch it. <gasps> oh, I did. I know you did. You <laughs> referenced it. <laughs> so, I have a clip of you going, "I can't quit you," and I do something quite disgusting. Oh, okay. We might do that again in a minute. <laughs> Please don't. So, Brokeback Mountain, the stage play is coming. Okay. Not, I'm not sure. I'm a bit... Mm. So, it's a production. It's described as a play with music. A musical, then. <laughs> <laughs> and it will run at the, the Soho Place Theatre in the West End for 12 weeks, beginning in May. Okay. So, the, the, the guy that owns the theatre... Um, has said that it is is based on the actual original short story, which was was published in the New Yorker in in nineteen ninety seven, mm -hmm. not the actual Ang Lee film with um, Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger and the. I wish I could quit you. 
that one. Yeah. Um, so it's it's. I'm based... thankful you didn't do the <laughs> what you did last time because you did a hip movement and a noise. I can't remember <laughs> these I, things. I quit um, you. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, it haunts my nightmare sleep. <laughs> but that fair. was the whole point. I wonder if that's going to be well. If they're not doing, if they're not basing it on the film, then that scene won't be in it. Spit on the hand. I don't know. In. Is it, oh, is it not in the book? I don't know. I've never read the book. I went to see the film. <clears throat> With something over your lap? No, because it wasn't sexy. I didn't find it sexy. Oh, okay. They're moving, but not sexy. Did you get a single tear? Well, do you know, I thought... I had, I, well, I, I went with my partner, who is dead inside, completely, okay. doesn't cry about anything. As soon as it finished, I turned, and he's going... <laughs> I was like, bit like, what is the matter? I was like... I should be crying. I should. <laughs> maybe you, maybe, maybe you nodded off. <laughs> I st- <laughs> maybe you nodded off halfway through it and you missed the really sad I bit. felt like a bit like there was something wrong with me because I knew we were supposed to be sad. Anyway, well, that's enough about me. Let's talk about the production. So they're going to have BAFTA nominated Mike Fast. Okay. Um, BAFTA nominated Mike Fast. Okay. And Why Oscar... did you say that twice? No, you went, what? I said, okay. Oh, okay, sorry. And Oscar-nominated Lucas Hedges are going to be the the, the lead characters. All right. Um, so, um... Oh, hello. There we go. Mike is the one with the longer hair, and the gentleman with the hat... With the hat... Not you. All right. And the one with the hand action, um, that, that is Lucas. I like um, that hand action. Yeah, well, anyway. Anyway, so, yes. Go and see it. Okay. If you... I, um, I hope it's not kind of like cheesy <laughs> with like you know a big up tempo you know in... <laughs> big musical number just as they, they go into the the tent to yeah. have a bit of hunky funky yeah. and they're shagging and they're shagging and they're yeah. shagging <laughs> people just as sheep and cows outside that yeah. kind of, no hopefully it will be good oh anyway let's stick let's stick with the LGBTQIA news. okay Elton John and his candles okay so. This is what it says here. Rock music legend has taken a leaf out of Gwyneth Paltrow's book. Okay. He's teamed up with Selfridges and has launched his own line of candles. Okay. So unlike Gwyneth, they're not going to smell of his gooch. Okay. Um, it, it's Dust. Yeah. D- <laughs> 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 Impending death. Um, <laughs> so he's currently on his farewell concert tour. Okay. And he's not actually commenting on the candle. We've got a picture of... So he's doing this, this, con- this farewell concert tour for about 12 years. That's it's like say. Cher. <laughs> it's like, oh. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, there he is, so these yellow brick rolls. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. In a dressing gown. In a dressing gown, those blowing kisses. I think we probably felt it's a kimono or something like that, Dolce & Gabbana or something like that. Yeah. 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 So Selfridges are saying, how can you capture the essence of music legend Elton John in a scent? So they've enlisted the help of the man himself. <laughs> Poppers, lube and semen. Yeah. All of those. Um, so he, they've teamed up with a London candle maker, Scent London, to okay. make so it's it's a hand poured wax candle. Okay, so it's next to twenty quid. Sings with melodic notes of vetivert, bergamot, and lemon. Also citrusy flavors. Citrusy. Yeah. Light the two wick. Light the th- light the two wicks. It's a t- double wicker. Oh. Line up a few of your fel- favorite Elton John oh, tunes. What have you been drinking? I don't know. <laughs> I've been sniffing these candles. Um, uh, and take a joyous sensory journey down the yellow brick road. I don't like the idea of that. No, obviously. I don't see, like this. To me, so, it seems that he's always lived his life like a candle in the wind. <sighs> I waited so long to make uh, that joke. Well, there's also a shoe-shaped one that. Okay. Um, that so they're saying it's um, it's inspired by his 1974 um, outfit um, with the big shoes, and that one smells of bergamot, cardamom, and musk. Ooh. And it's de- well, this is what they say. It's destined to be displayed on top of the piano or alongside your favorite record player. Well, not your favourite record player. You just your record. I don't know if anybody has a favourite record player. I have a record player. I don't player. like you. I just like you. You're my favourite. Um, yeah. So the um, the little candle there, mm-hmm. sixty five quid. Let's see. Woo! The boot, one hundred and twenty five. Oh, it wasn't far off. Yeah, not so bad. I've actually managed to get hold of one. Okay. Yeah, I've got. I've got. It's not. It's not on this range. It's the range that's coming next. Okay. <clears throat> Look, in it, nice that. 
wonder what it smells of. Should we take, take the lid off? Okay. Very much like how Elton takes his own hair off. <laughs> oh, it's battered. Look at that. Look at that inside. Oh. Do I actually show a camera? <laughs> Everyone, have a look inside this. <laughs> so we just show, you show inside a camera? Absolutely rattled. Yeah. Do you want to pop the lid back on? What does it smell of to you? It smells like you've had some time with a hot glue gun. <laughs> well, that would be a lie, because I had a fierce eBay. eBay. I had a fierce eBay battle, bidding battle Did for you? this. Yeah, don't break it. I'm not breaking it. I'm just reading the the, the information of where this is from. <clears throat> Designed in Los Angeles, California. There you go. Oh, By Sir Elton batch. of John. That's not what it says. It does. Keep wax pool free of debris at all times. Don't yeah. dip your bell end in it. Burn more it right than, off. More than once. Mm. Well, thanks, Valley. You're welcome. That's the end of this week's show business. Oh, hold me closer, tiny dancer. Why are you doing your share? It was Elton John. But hold that... me closer, tiny dancer. That was closer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Choices were made there. Sorry. You're totally welcome. Stick around because after this, it's Mike and the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now it's time to go over to Mike and his little Buzz. <laughs> What's that squeaky noise? <laughs> it was the leather of my of my trousers. I'm not wearing leather trousers, just a thong. I um, thought it was your my joint. Leather, my... <laughs> <laughs> Could uh, well be. Yeah, possibly. World records. Do you hold any world records? What a tenuous link that is. Uh, no, I don't, Mike. You don't? No, surprisingly, I don't. Oh, OK, I thought you might have been the owner of, of this particular world record. OK. Which is the world's longest poo. <sighs> <laughs> you tell a story once. Right. And it's it's over, over a thousand years ago. I was saying, it's not, it doesn't look particularly fresh. <laughs> it doesn't look particularly... That's your comment. It doesn't look fresh. The fact I've just said you're a thousand years it's, old. There's not a lot of <laughs> moisture in that that one. It's very dry. It's copper light very is dry. what they call them. Is that what they call, like, an old turd? An old poo is a copper light. <laughs> I shall... Add that to my memory bank. <laughs> <laughs> For those occasions you find an old poo. Well, I just when I want to, when I want to insult somebody, you copper light. <laughs> it just sounds like a diet version of a police. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Ooh, why is light. why is it chained down? Why is it was it, is it an aggressive old it. poo? It's like people like, try to steal it. It's worth money. Really? It's the world's oldest poo. Where did they find it, Mike? Um, in York, in what is now a Lloyds Bank. <laughs> oh, okay. It was a dirty protest over. <laughs> it was like, give me your overdraft fees back. No, okay. um, it was as they were excavating. They found. They were they found. excavating the evacuation. <laughs> yes, it's a little Nice. Yes, and they went, oh, this looked like a poo. Oh, this is old, yeah. Was there a, was there a, was there a body near it? No. Just a, just a just turd. A, you don't tend to keep them <laughs> with your person at all times. Well, most people. Well, back in those days. <laughs> Form of nourishment. Currency. But they, they found it in 1972, but they've recently, like, dug into it. <laughs> they found it in 1972? Yeah. Okay. Right, but recently they've had a probe into it to find out what it why was did it take? Why, why, why that? No why 50 that years? No one's that keen. So it's just in, like, a Tupperware in. tub on a shelf. <laughs> no, it's in a museum. Oh, OK. Right. In a, you know, in a Tupperware tub in a museum <laughs> shelf. What are we going to do with this no, on display a little. Like it was that. on display. On display. Because, you know, it's interesting. But they've had they've had a dig into it, and they found out that the diet was quite similar to ours. To ours, Big Macs food -wise. and um... yeah, Big Macs and but like beer. They drank, okay. drank beer and they ate a lot of fruit and seeds and stuff. But fruit they also had a lot of meat and meat processed. Is meats. that where where in York is is it displayed? In a museum. I said know that, but is there a specific? I like York. I'm going. Well, like, you know, <laughs> you're going to see it. Well, like, if I'm in the area, I'm going to be rude not to pop in. Um, pop pop in one out. Hello. Um, <laughs> You are. Um, <laughs> I'll you back in. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I wasn't around York at that time. Um, so <laughs> that was the year I was in. <laughs> oh well, that's lovely. Um, yeah. Do they know if it's if it was delivered by a, a gentleman or a, or, or a gentle lady? Do you know? Was it was it laid? I don't. What you pooped out? 
<laughs> Dude, lay a cable, I believe. Yeah. Um, That's a very straight <laughs> thing to say, that. Lay a cable. Oh, right, excuse me, I'm just going to go lay some cable. Drop uh, the kids off at the pool always confused me. Because you then flush and drown them. So it's not... Think of it as like a fun water ride. Anyway. 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 <laughs> anyway. Shall we move on from the idea Let's of Let's move on from the children? desiccated pool. It's not desiccated. It's just old. There's no... It, was it not fossilised? Well, yeah, but it's just not desiccated. Not Don't coconuts. <laughs> okay. Moving on, then. Do you like going to festivals? No, you don't like festivals, do you? No. There's people... I don't like I don't like outdoor thing. I don't like the mud. Okay. I don't like it. What about street festivals? There's no mud. I don't know. There's people though. If it's very busy. Then I'm not keen. Okay. Um, well, this is a story about a Japanese festival. Oh, it's going to be weird then, isn't it? Because the, it's well, they tend to have very strange things in Japan. I've watched a program about weird things in Japan. Okay. okay. What was on that that program of weird things? About sex. There we go. It was, it was a sex show. Yeah, it wasn't a porn. Okay. It was a in, it was a documentary. Mm-hmm. That had all been drawn by a cartoonist. Um, but this is the Japanese Penis Festival. Okay. Okay. Um, and it said the the fake phallic mascot is making things really hard. Uh, I can't see it. Well, no, it's not on there because it's a big picture of a cock. Oh, OK, you're not allowed to show it. No. Um, but, yeah, it's an unofficial mascot that someone has basically made look like it's an official mascot, so it's a huge penis. OK. Right, it's 12 foot tall. OK. Massive. Yeah. Right? Um, bright pink. Nice. Covered in flowers. And the the um, penis festival is saying it's not the official mascot. What is the official pas- mascot of they the They don't penis? have one. They don't have one. They don't one. have one well, because of this fake word one. of mouth. <laughs> Word of mouth. I like it. <laughs> and the penis festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get it, yeah. Oral sex jokes. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're just not very happy about it. Okay. Well, what do they expect? It's a festival about penises. Yeah. Don't have to make a mockery of it. It could be quite a solemn, sober occasion. The penis. It is. There's, a, there's a penis. Um, I don't want to say museum. Okay. More of a. Like a... <laughs> got the pencil museum in our ears there. <laughs> there is, there is, there is. I don't know whether it's Japan or whether it's Singapore. There is a, a like a... It won't be in Singapore. <laughs> there is a penis <laughs> and there's loads of statues of penises. Okay. Penises. I'll say penises. that one more time. <laughs> penises. Mm. Okay. And giant penises, small penises. All kinds. All kinds. Whale penises. Whale penises? Whale penises, yeah. Whale. Dongs. Dorks. Dorks. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know. I almost tried. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you have a festival of a penis on your own or with people, feel free to share it with us. It's at the Good TV on social media. That link's always tenuous. Don't laugh. Now, now <laughs> while I'm kind of in my head, I've got like people at home sat in their own chair okay. with a tiny tent over their penis. <laughs> and some loud music and, <laughs> and watered down beer oh, in a pipe in a plastic lamp. Oh, no. And that brings us nice to our story of the week. And this is something that's been brought from TikTok. Now, you're not a fan of TikTok. I don't I don't see the point. No. I said, and that's fine. And that's fine. That's Everybody's fine. got a choice. Yeah, and sometimes you make the wrong ones. Mm. And this is a gentleman who shared uh, what gleeting is. You know what gleeting is? No. No, OK, that's what we're about to do learn. Do I want to know? You do want to know, because okay. it's, it's something that you can do accidentally as well. Okay. Okay. Um, and it shows you how you can gleet yourself. Okay. Okay. So so what we're going to do is I'm going to get out the apparatus you require for gleeting. S- strong sense of a smell of ammonia is just into <laughs> Oh, that's the just an accident. I'm sorry. Um, so this is, this is the thing you require. Okay. Right. Now what you need to do is you need to yawn three times. I'm not putting anything in my <laughs> mouth until I know what it is. Is that lemon? It's lemon. Is it though? It's lemon. I will go first if okay. you don't believe me. Oh, right? you can. So you need to yawn three times, drink the lemon, mm. and then put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. No, I'm not doing any of that. Why? Because it's ridiculous. No, you do why? it first. I'll do it first. Okay. Right, so. Yawn three times. <sighs> We're asleep now. <laughs> <sighs> Mm. 
Quite slumming. Ah. Yeah. That's all you have to do. And what's that got to do with anything? Wait. I'll go. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't think it's I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? I don't know, but I don't want to do it. I don't <laughs> care do for it. it. I don't care for the jib of it. <laughs> okay. Um, basically, so gleating you can do accidentally mm. when you're talking. I can feel it happening. Um, so I'm going to be careful so I don't gleat on you. So when you, sp it's you spray when, it's when you, spit. you squirt yeah. the spit from your face. Okay, yeah, by accident. Yeah, yeah. But you can force yourself to do it by doing that. Okay. And I'm obviously talking to you. It's not happening. And I no, I'm putting my hand on my mouth, so I oh, don't okay. do it at you. Well, that lemon is very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I quite enjoyed that, though. Okay. That little lemon chip. Nice. Well, I've had mine, by all means. Oh, makes you feel alive. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the gentleman um, who, who's shown on how to do it on TikTok. Are we going to see it? We're going to see him. Okay. There he is. So, gleeking. Gleeking. Yeah. He doesn't look pretty. <sighs> you see, this is this is the whole reason why I don't like TikTok. <laughs> it's idiots <laughs> just doing stupid things. But now people know how to do it. That's a... Who cares? Some people are actually aroused by that. There's lots of people at home now going, oh. When so you accidentally spit on someone. No, you can for not when you don't accidentally do it, when you force yourself to do it like that. Well, why would you want to force yourself to spit on somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Did we all hear that big penny just drop? <laughs> See, but not, not what, of, of, of the films that I have seen where they do that, which I don't like, I don't care for. Okay. They're not going, they're not so, like doing so, a light spray. They're not going, and it goes <laughs> like that. They're going, <laughs> and then they go, nom, 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 nom. and I don't like it. <laughs> So the thing there wasn't just the film that you've seen, the films. So you've watched a couple with them in. It's in surprisingly a large amount of films. I don't like it. It's, it's a horrible thing to do. If I if somebody spat in my mouth, I wouldn't be going, oh, yeah, baby. I'd be going, you dirty, dirty <laughs> person. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's just a Tuesday. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to repeat what the gallery just said in your ear <laughs> to the people at home. But that's all from The Buzz this week. Thank you very much for that, Mike. That was informative and disturbing. Stick around, because after this break, it's our Game of the Week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cod. This week we are playing Uza Kazoo, and that's one for our constant companion, well, incontinent one. So off you go, Mike, and take your tenor man with you. Tenor lady, tenor person, whichever. Game of the Week. So, Mr. Benny and Row, are you ready? Mr. Benny and Row? Hmm. What are you after? I am ready. Well, let's. Go for it. Okay. I don't know. Is there a clue? It, um, snappy snaps. All right, go. Go and do it again. See, when, when you said Snappy Snaps, I'm thinking George Michael. Yes. But that doesn't sound like any George Michael song that I know. It's Freedom. I didn't sound anything like it. How does Freedom go? Freedom, I want to let you go. See, what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Okay, you ready? Next one. My powers have left me today. Okay. Do 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 pew pew. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Um, is it from the 70s? It may be from the 70s. Oh, okay. Pew, pew. Is it... Feel, uh, no. What was that? Feels like I'm in love. Pew, no. pew. No, no, no. Pew, pew. No. 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 It's You Make Me Feel. Brackets Mighty Real. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, next one then. <laughs> I know it. What? I know that one. What then? Is it Constant Craving by um don't don't say it, don't say it, Katie Lang. It is Can't Stand Gravy by Kate. Uh, yeah. uh, Can't stand gravy. Um, so whatever happened to Katie Lang? I'm involved in a horrific dildo accident, I don't know. She's still with us? I don't know. Yeah, for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, it's soft cell. Ah. Uh, tainted love. It is indeed. Well done. Taint. You. Taint <laughs> love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's to do with bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a very niche choice if it's the one. Is it is it is it that is it that one with the red hair? <laughs> is it that one with the red hair? The, um, Dusty bin? No, um <laughs> Basil Bush. Um um, she was the daughter of somebody out of the bill. Um, LaRue? Yes. And. The do 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 song. Do 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 mess around. Do, sing, do, sing the chorus in your head. Do 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 mess around in a minute. Bulletproof! There you are. Yes, bulletproof. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Um, That's all you're getting. I don't know. Yeah. We do the chorus for you. Oh, were you just doing the verse? I was just doing the opening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do the chorus as well. <laughs> Um, um, four, four non blondes. Uh huh. And what's going on? Nope. Yes, it is. It's four non blondes and what's up? What's going on? So the song is called What's Up. Well, I decide it's been renamed. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know it was. So sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, next one. <laughs> I don't know that one. It's REM. What one? What Losing REM? My religion. Oh, it's not my genre. It's not your genre. No. Okay. Uh, I'll try this one then. That might be a bit closer to you. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Um, two tribes go to war. Relax. Okay. <laughs> well, now it sounds like it didn't before. It did. When you wanna come, that's about sex. <laughs> it is. It's about anal. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Still don't know it. Still don't know it. No, don't understand it. Don't know what he's saying. Okay, it's Girls and Boys by Good Charlotte. Oh, never heard of him. Okay. Never heard of him. Who are they? Who is she? <laughs> the girls don't like boys. Girls like cars and money. I never heard okay. of it. No. No, don't know them. You don't know them. Okay. No. Let's, let's have a look for some eighties music. Pat me now again. That, that'll be fine. Any of those. Okay. Kylie, right. your Danny, your you ready? Jeffrey. <laughs> Call me a wild rose. My name was Eliza Day. Is it? Um, that was disturbing. Even me looking at my own <laughs> self then. Um, <coughs> um, um, uh, uh, Kylie Minogue and Nick Cave uh -huh. and um, um, uh, Liza Day or something like that. The, the Wild Rose. I'll let you have that. Uh, one, thanks a lot. She's great. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, yeah, thanks. Right, okay. <laughs> This is it. Oh. No. This is Cuff It by Beyonce. Oh, I don't know any of her stuff. After Crazy in Love. Give it up now. Enough. Done. Bored. Okay, fine, whatever. I ain't asked to do it. Stay with us, because after this break, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud, and now it's time to go over to our very own Marie Curie. It's Mike, and that's science, that is. That's science, that is. So today we're going to be using the power of our lungs. Oh dear. <laughs> what do you mean, oh dear? So we're going to do something musicians do called circular breathing. Oh. Oh. And what this is, is basically you're going to eject a consistent and continual stream of air from your lips while inhaling through your nose, okay? And the way that you practice it is, is with a straw and some water. So you should have a straw and yeah. some water. Yes. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the straw in the water, like a depressing cocktail, and then move it towards thy face. Okay. And then you're just going to gently blow. And blow bubbles. It spilled on me. Which means you didn't blow gently, did you? I did. Spilled on me. Shouldn't have spilled on you if you'd blow gently. Spilled on my blouse. Go again. Gently blow. There you are. Gently blowing. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to continually blow. But you want to inflate your cheeks a bit so you've got some pressure. Okay, so you're going to go... Can you do that? Why, it's why just it... water, it doesn't smell of beef. <laughs> <laughs> Before you say it, why does beef water smell of beef? It, it does a bit though. <laughs> it doesn't smell of beef. It does. Everything smells of beef in here, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that's you. You need to make a continual blow bubbles. So, a bit of air in your cheeks before you start squeezing out your lips. God, I can't breathe. You're going very vigorous. It's gentle blowing you're supposed to do. There you go. Okay. Now, as you're doing that, what you then need to do is just squeezing the air out through your cheeks. Breathe in through your nose. Okay. It can't be done. Okay. It can't be done. 
Musicians do it all the time. So let's just see how, see if I can do it first. Isn't this marvellous television? See, it's doable. I've just done it. I don't know if you did it or not. I can't tell. How can I tell? I'm Because of the amount of air that's coming out. See, I'm not going <laughs> afterwards. So I breathe out and then breathe in at the same time. So put air in your cheeks, okay? So you've got like a, a reservoir of air in your cheeks and then when you're breathing in through your nose, you just close your cheeks together gently so it pushes them out like bellows. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, it's okay. That's, it doesn't, it's not something you can just do once. Gently blowing and little breaths. Rather than trying to take a deep breath, do a little breaths in. It, it, you, it, it's, you can't do it. It does, You can't do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just little breaths, but you're getting closer. There's water coming up the straw. Don't breathe in through the straw. <laughs> <laughs> That's called drinking through a straw. <laughs> if you go, you suck. Yeah, I don't okay. understand what you what the what the point is. But how do I know he's breathing? How do I know he's breathing in? Because I'm just... gesturing when I'm breathing in with my fingers. Because that just looks like in. I could do that. Come on, then. Well, I'm not breathing in. But you're just you're not doing a continual slide. You're going bloop 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 bloop. <sighs> No, you, you, I don't. You're getting closer every time you do it, though, so you are getting closer to doing it. So, and, and musicians do this all the time, especially used for playing things like the didgeridoo. Well known. Yes. What do you mean, well known? Yeah, that well known instrument that's used in old pop music. <laughs> I didn't say this is a popular music thing. <laughs> is it that's popular music? That is no, it's wow, science. Wow, wow. Well, didgeridoo just go, wow, 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 wow. I could do that. Okay. It's breathing a test tube. Anyway, so that's how you practice circular breathing. Now, would you like to make an instrument? Not really, you but play? you know, we've got we've got time to fill, haven't yeah. we? You know, when I ask you a question, like, would you like to? It's always yes. It's like improv. Yes, and yes, Mike. Yes. I do. So you should have another straw. I do have another straw. Okay. First thing you want to do with your straw, okay, is flatten it as much as you can. Okay. So you want to flatten it, flatten it, flatten it. Once you've done that, okay, so it should be quite flat. Yeah. You need to remove the bendy bit of your straw. With a snip. Chop it off. Okay. And then the other. <laughs> so now you just have a tube. I do have a tube. Which is quite flat. It is. At your flattest end. Yeah. Okay. You need to make it into a point. Okay. A point up or a point down? A point up like that. So it's a pointy way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a pencil. Like a pencil. You need it to be as even as you possibly can make it. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Here go. Okay. Okay, now, this is basically what a reed is. So woodwind instruments use these. Mm -hmm. and what you're going to do is, using your lips and your mouth, Yes. you're going to squeeze the two little bits together of the mm -hmm. straw, okay, and blow and it should make a noise. It sounds like, um, it sounds like... <laughs> what? Sounds like... Sounds like sweep of Sutty and Sweep. <laughs> okay. See so if we're going to do it.
Now, tune. If you take a little nick out of out of your straw, to make a little hole, halfway down-ish, it will change the tone. Okay. <laughs> and, and you put your finger over the hole to block it out, and you play it like a tube, like a tune. Don't squeeze. <laughs> Place your finger over, not squeezing. Gently, gently. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> that makes my lips go all weird, all tingly. Right, and the more holes you put in, the more, more things you can play. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> it just sounds like the waiting area of a endoscopy unit after you've had the endoscopy. What, people blowing and not getting anything out? I don't think that works. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that's science that is. That science, that is. It worked. <laughs> You're going too hard. You want to pinch it together so it's like there. But with your lips, because if it's there, it forces it open. It must be there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fifteen sweep. <laughs> There's a lot of air coming out of you, gently. I have to. Well, that's great. Yeah, it worked. It did. It's so that science that is that worked. It, yeah, it did. Yeah. Well, that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>